Our first introduction to Emmeline Pankhurst was at school, so we were going over it in our learning syllabus and um, I remember my teacher describing her to me and what she's accomplished and it was just straight away. I was so inspired. I got to, you know, research and understand more about her and, you know, what she really fought for. And I think after that, that's when I decided, wow, she's definitely my role model. The reason of this failure is that women have not been able to bring pressure to bear upon the government and government moves only in response to pressure. Emmeline spoke her mind and, you know, it was clearly you know, you could see her passion and you could see that so clearly through the way she spoke. She spoke from the heart and that's exactly why, how she achieved what she achieved uh, today. In the midst of her faithful followers, marched Mrs. Pankhurst. The Morning Post observed, it was a most striking exhibition of faith and strength. I feel like I owe it to her because you know, like so many of uh, Emmeline Pankhurst and there's so many suffragettes and suffragists and how many things they fought for and what they had to go through to achieve and break down these boundaries uh, in order for me, Jade Walton, to thrive in this environment, uh, to actually, you know, go into the industry that I want to do with, you know, without being penalised. Uh, I feel like it's so, so, that's so important and I feel like, you know, I owe it to her to deliver, to deliver um, a documentary about her because of the stuff she's done for me. You know, when the first statue of a woman who was not Queen Victoria was being voted for, Emmeline, Emmeline won that list, you know, hands down as the person that it obviously should be. And then when the statue was erected, more than 5,000 people were involved in the march to unveil her. She would be irate, I think, at the rate of change. Uh, so she would look at things like within Man Greater Manchester, the percentage of women in leadership politically within the authority, Greater Manchester Authority, and say, you know, really over 100 years since, and this is the most that we've had. She'd be very aware socially and economically at the inequalities that uh, remain. If you look at the poverty levels, the fact that women are so represented in those figures, at how vulnerable women are to things like uh, lack of support to home care and uh, nurseries, the fact that the burden of care is still so squarely put onto women's shoulders. She would be saying, it's sad that we haven't moved further and she'd be galvanizing uh, action. She'd be saying, come on, come on everybody, we can do better. They deserve better, they would want better, they would be campaigning for more, more equality. I'm glad that we've got a statue celebrating her today. Um, I think there's still a lot of work to do in terms of, uh, yeah, gender equality. Well, I always knew about her. I always knew about the suffragettes being from Manchester and that as part of our heritage really. As a woman like you know continue trying your hardest to make yourself known in like the work environment, voting, any sort of situation like that. Pankhurst Centre also um, you know keeps the work of Emmeline by helping um, all domestic violence victims and other communities that are isolated. I think the more we remember the more we honour um, the more useful the past becomes to orient us in the future. Um, so there's so much that we can learn from the attention to women's rights that the suffragettes gave, the way that they campaigned, this refusal to be silenced, to be ignored, the use of colour and pomp and pageantry, you know, the fact that purple, white and green are still very much used as the colours of feminism, you know, globally for, for any initiative that's starting out now with a feminist perspective, they'll often end up using some combination of those colours. It's so important to share these views because you can make a difference and if you have a passion or it's something you desire, you think that you need to make a change in the world, do it. I can't stress it enough, do it. <laughs>